Today, my brother Vadislav joins us for a round at Gangrejan, all the way from the Baltics. The course is in the boondocks, and it's charming beyond words. We were pretty much the only people there, so it was another day of millionaire's golf in the kingdom. Jack Nicholson, the golden bear, was rumored to have designed some of the golf course. Every hole is bordered by jungle left and right. It's a beautiful countryside course set next to a mountain and for $40, including cart and caddy, it's a special place. Vadislav, nicknamed Laddie, plays to a seven handicap. He's never played this course, so he adopts the conservative strategy because if the ball goes in the jungle, it's not coming out. It's being donated to Simba and Mufasa. On the first tee, he hits a hybrid to loosen up the muscles because there's no driving range out here in the Bundus. All we want to do on the opener of a new course is get a couple of good strikes in our system and keep the ball safely in play. There's nothing as devastating as playing a new course and losing two balls in the first couple of holes. The par five is short enough for him to get home in two, but once again, from the tee, we have no idea where the hole ends up. A safe three wood would allow us to set up a third with a wedge. Draw a bit, came out of it. Safe there. Right, commit to it. I love it. I love it. Here's knowledge you can attain for the next round when you play a new course. Notice the contours of the green and where the ball can be hit to leave simpler putts. Making these side heel right to left putts is incredibly difficult. Came out of it. Go! Yeah, With a blind rise and no idea what happens beyond the rise, Laddie hits a three iron. If there was a second round here next time, he should hit this shot with a hybrid, drawing it toward the left side. Because as we made our way over the rise, that push to the right meant the approach was an easy 15 yards longer and from the rough. But with the genetics he has, he was able to craft a superb strike from the long grass and actually held the green. This is probably in the top 20 shots seen on this channel. The course is jungle left and right and makes you feel boxed in, but tight courses give you the perspective change which allows your brain to know the limits. We shot the rangefinder to the jungle at the end of the fairway and it was clear a three iron was the club. It's a blind shot, we have no option. Par 5 is actually reachable from here, but it will take a big hybrid hit to get there. The hybrid generally goes left, so he was happy to hit it. The odds look good. He has a lot of space upright if the hybrid doesn't turn over, and if it does turn over, it's going to finish on the green or in a greenside bunker. Oh god. Right. Right. Oh go. Sorry, I thought it was gonna run out. Good part. Good part for me. Despite the length of the hole, he is comfortable with a three iron. The hybrid is always fighting him and wants to hook, and a hook means more golf ball donations. 
The shorter tee shot means a longer approach, but some days the long game just fires. Those are good days indeed. This type of par 3 is a real birdie chance. The pin is the most accessible it could be with no bunkers or hazards in the way. It's a softball just lobbed waiting to be hit. But the fatal error is being in between clubs and then swiping at it. It's uphill so it adds some distance to the shot, but a controlled shot is always preferable. These hard hits usually end up in a shot that has no control. A standard strike of this club would start it on the same line he hit it on, but would have a gentle draw, nestling up to the hole for a 10-foot birdie putt. Oh, stayed up. I thought it was going to go left. The ninth hole is a long one. With the standard draw with the hybrid, it should be reachable with another hybrid or three iron. In the following rounds played here, this is definitely a driver hole if we want half a chance of hitting the green in two, but taking the correct line is important. The fairway range is from 18 to 26 yards wide. Can we find a logic and reason to play this as a par 5 and be happy with a score of 5 here? Is this weak? Is this stupid? I don't think so. I think it's realistic. What percentage of golfers are going to get to the green in two shots on any par 4 over 460 yards? This hole is a stroke index 3, so any playing to a 2 handicap will want to be on or around the green in two shots, sure. If we can shift our mindset to move away from par par par, it makes golf more enjoyable. A lot of people say the Thai courses are easy because they look wide open. The flatness of the image from being filmed in wide angle does make it look wider. The fairways on this course are 25 yards wide with thick rough and bush after a thick rough. When you don't know the layout of the course, it's hard to commit, so it's much easier and way more fun to play safer clubs, keeping the ball in play and having a score to write in the card. Once again, on a new course like this, we know the fairways are tight, we don't know the layout of the holes, and we don't know the lay of the land to where we are hitting the ball. Hit the longest, safest club to enjoy the round. Sometimes we hit a shuri into the trees, but there's always an escape route. In this situation, we establish that the slice punch shot is easiest to advance up the fairway. It's a shot he can pull off nearly 10 out of 10 times. We got lucky under the trees and hit it further right than the long grass. When analyzing a lie, we need to know how much of the ball can we see? Can I get the club face onto the ball directly? How much grass will be between the ball and the club? More grass and thicker blades of grass between your ball and the club will mean you can't shape the ball and you will lose distance. You'll be less able to control the flight as well. Will the blades of the grass gobble up club head and twist it? Laddie can get the face directly onto the ball and so the faded punch shot is easy to do, 10 out of 10 times in this situation. But that is your best. That is crunched. Great shot. Oh. It's your best, I think, bro. The three on today. 
That's perfect on this hole. Absolutely perfect. Great shot. This is a good lesson in club selection. With 145 yards to the pin, which is on the front of the green, we often pick the club we think we hit exactly 145, so we finish five feet from the pin. But to carry the water in front of the green is 133 yards. We can go as far back as 170 yards where there is no trouble. A misstrike of the 145 yard club and we're flirting with the water. Trouble short, go long. Trouble long, go short. Selecting the one out of 10 shot means nine out of 10 attempts are disasters. Play the high percentage shots. No, oh, that was a swing of yours. Wasn't your best. Wasn't your best. On tight courses, sometimes the hole suits your eye. That's when we can bring out the big dog. Laddie hits a bigger than normal fade here, but the hole's shaped that way, and to be fair, the Blue Trees were playing a little too long this side at 3,700 yards. So we just moved to the Whites. Who wants to finish a round with two par fours over 460 yards? Easy life. Overall players, the way of the player allows for full enjoyment of every course when you play it for the first time. Why would you want to go out there and try prove yourself or experience the course on new courses without a clue of the layout? The way to enjoy every new course is to play it the first time hitting shots that won't lose you golf balls. But then, look around and gather intel for your next trip to the course. Find the lines to hit your tee shot on, the good places to miss, the bad places to miss, the slopes on the fairways and greens, the obstacles between you and the target, and the location of hazards. Then when you're able to return, you can increase the aggression. This is the nature of this channel, playing courses for the first time, and usually the only time. When we return, we always try to improve. We have no memberships at any course to keep chipping away at our personal bests. The idea is to show you ways to play that you can enjoy anywhere, anytime, home courses or new. It's about fun golf, not ego golf.